Center stage, come here. Yeah. <laughs> Rolling? Okay, hi Shushmita, it's very good to see you. Very good to see you and your new look. <laughs> yes, it's suiting you. you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I just want to ask you, what can I tell you? Collection, you have seen through all the paintings. So what what is your initial reaction about uh, the painting? You know, like many of us, I, I know for years I have been very fond of art. Um, I've always seen unexplored new artists with new gifts, and मुझे art से बड़ा लगाव इसलिए भी है कि just like cinema, yeah. it has a way of imitating life and being drawn from life, especially with an artist like John Fernandez. He was a realistic form of an artist. He, he chose this form. Where everything was about realism. He had actual models posing for him at a time when um, uh, fine art was more, you know, modern art was taking birth in the fine art space. He did both fine art and commercial art. But tonight, what is really, really special is that here is a love story. There is a love story that I am very happy to say that this is my country, our people in our country. This is art interpretation. Artists are where they are, their expression is where they are. They are gifted people in our country. The world is over. But when I got the literature for today's exhibition and when I got to know the, the love story of John and Agnes, um, they were like a team. उन्होंने हर चीज एक दूसरे को को बगैर कहे सिर्फ समझ कर किया है। It's almost like she says, art was John's first love, I was his second। बहुत कम लोग होते हैं जो who make peace with that as a concept। They built a home and a world where till his last day, through all his accomplishments, he told Agnes to do three things amongst many other, but the three that I know of. First was that she should hold this exhibition in Jahangir Art Gallery because in 1991, he started his first solo exhibition right here. And today I feel privileged that she has me for this, this moment where she's keeping her promise to her loved husband and a great, great artist. Um, I am extremely humble and very touched that he thought of me. I am very, very happy that I'm here to be a part of that. So, uh, how are we? No, and, and I hope there's more romance like that, where you explore life, where you go through whatever it is that you experience and you remember that there is a togetherness, like she says, a soulmate. Mujhe mera soulmate mil gaya. Ab aise romance ko sun sun ke main single hoon. <laughs> Obviously, because you know, you keep inspiring to find that, that, that it thing, the je ne sais quoi factor. But it's lovely to have you all here. Aapko Enjoy. Ji? Aapko painting Ha, main in fact, Picasso uh, ji ka ek roop hoon. Main bachon ki tarah paint karti hoon. Which is why I loved his uh, watercolors. Oil to uh, patience hai nahi mujh mein. Uh, ke oil dry hoga, phir second layer aega, ye sab nahi hota mujh se. But watercolors I love, mixed medium I love, and when I'm very inspired, I make something, I start, uh, I will make Madhuga's eyes, for instance, and they end up becoming Buddha. <laughs> they, they just come out the way they want. So no, I'm not a trained artist, but I have great love for art. I feel like that if we have something hidden in our hearts, which is our good, if you really take a pen to paper also and doodle with it, you'll be amazed what you can create with it sometimes in a moment of being completely inspired. So yeah, I love art. Very fond of it. Ma'am, what was that thought that the love? Sorry? What was that thought that made this painting and all? What was the thought of? Yeah, what made this painting? Actually, I really John, he lives in my heart and soul and in his heart. Yeah. See, you ask me a question saying how how do you be living John's memories here together? I feel great, of course, but actually John is in my heart and soul and I li he lives in his heart. Every day I see him in the morning, <laughs> afternoon, night. You know? House. It's not necessary that I should have an exhibition to really. It's 
you know, I relieve every moment of the day. That's special. So, Shweta, as you said, you know, uh, yeah. you love art. So, I want to ask you, how important is art, and you know, in a person's life? Like, yeah. do you have uh, paintings at your place also, where you, where you, like, you're a vivid art follower? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. मेरे घर में अब दीवारें नहीं बची हैं जहाँ पर मैं एक और पेंटिंग टांग सकूँ. It's packed. So, I have a beautiful temple at home. और टेंपल के दरवाजे के बाहर भी there is just one wall, and that wall is also packed with some. Uh, seven beautiful rishis. I wanted the Sapta Rishi outside. So that would have probably been the only wall where there was still scope, but I just feel like I love depth. You know, the way people look at a window and they look out at a view and they see depth. Sometimes when you look at a painting and you revisit that painting again, you keep seeing new things. It, it has a different yeah, meaning. every time it has it. So, when the mood is good, then the painting is very beautiful. If the mood is bad, then the whole painting is looking at something else. So, I think it's it's really about. That's why we say to our children in childhood that for every everyone gives them crayon and a piece of paper hmm. because you can bring that imagination and that world with a view, uh, which is so so important for the good health of your heart of your spirit, um, they truly are a window of your soul. There is a way that art expresses itself. I'm not a connoisseur, so I don't know what the beauty is in the But I get the feeling. When I look at a painting, I get the feeling. And, and I think that to me is absolutely fabulous form of art. Right. Uh, okay, now we uh, film about the film. Kare, Sushmita, uh, like, have you seen any of the recent films? You know, many of the films, like Dear Zindagi has done. Dear, so, which yes. was the last Bollywood film that you saw? I saw Dear Zindagi. Okay. It was the last film I saw. Right. And fabulous performances. I think Indian cinema over the last one decade has started coming of age. Uh, it's beautiful to see commercial actors and non-commercial actors coming in, kind of crossing over. So comfortably, hmm. directors risking scripts that were typically not considered commercial, um, making films without singing and dancing, uh, unheard of from the film industry we knew it to be. This is a great time to be a technical, uh, a technician in the film industry or an actor, uh, director, uh, cinematographer, it doesn't matter. Any creative field uh, attached to the Indian cinema today. Uh, very exciting times and I can't wait for the world to wake up to our kind of films because for a very long time we made such films that we only liked the rest of the world and the rest of the world was only musical that it's a musical drama musical romantic film yeah. but now we have a script we have screenplays we have uh, a beginning middle and an end the way scripts are written today hmm. it's excellent for us right and we will see you this is my last question, <laughs> like always, because we all miss you on screen, I'm sure everyone misses you. You know, this I always say is, <laughs> is my God's greatest gift to me, that despite my very limited work, done 35 films yes. in, in 13, 14 years, this has been my greatest turning, is that my audiences and people such as yourself have always made me feel like you need to come back, we yeah. miss you. Uh, and so the little pressure does come up that I don't want to come back and disappoint you. I much rather wait and now come back with something that you say, ah, Sush, now that's what we're talking about. Right. That's taking a little bit of time, but I promise you I'm not going anywhere till I give you that. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Actually, you have all seen that John's works out. One more beautiful than the other. So it was really a difficult task choosing the paintings. It was like searching, you know, for the, you know, searching the good ones, like searching a needle in a haystack. It was that difficult. But it took us a while, and in the end, we came up with the show. And here you see the work. Beautiful. Uh, see, as you look at John's works, uh, each each one of his paintings are. As she said, one better than the other. So it's it's for us to decide now which is better for us. But there's not even one painting which you look which will say it's not good. So it becomes very, very hard to choose the top and then you know go down or whatever. So you know this is like his his top works, you see, and as you look around, there's beauty in each and every piece of work which you see here. 
So for me, it's like, it's been it's it takes a lot of time to do this effort to put all these all these paintings here, but but you know John's work is such that you will find your pieces which you like and which you want to rate as your top, and then you know the next and next and next. So it's it's a long process, but it, it's really fun doing it, and finally. This is what we have. Excellent job. Very nice. Okay, Sushmita, so last question. Aap se, aapko kaun sa sabse favorite? Uh, koi, if you if you if you have to pick one, Haan. so which was the one which? Uh, the, the well, that won't be fair because it's very. That will not be fair <laughs> because. That's yeah, because it's it's very different. There are no two pieces here. Jahan par aap dekhkar kahenge they are so similar or they have the same feeling or the same vibe, but I have to say the one that had me stumped, like I stopped. Mm. This one, the ass. There is just something about the strokes. You know, हम जब साड़ी बांधते हैं तो उसकी जो pleats गिरती है fabric की. To do that with the strokes of brushes so casually is beautiful. But those eyes, oh my God, those eyes. She's apparently right now a mum of two. I was just asking. She's an actual model who posed for him. And she is in Switzerland. Sorry. Yes, she she's is. In, yeah, she's yeah, in. What, she's do we know her name? Rucha. Rucha. So that is Rucha. Rucha Ru Vedya. Vedya. And this is how amazing Agnes is. She remembers everyone's names, mm -hmm. where they are, yes. and yeah, what they're doing. And she's actually uh, the muse for John, who also got him all of her students, because she's a teacher with the convent at that point, uh, and they became further inspirations for him to paint. There she is. You have one live model right here. Come say hi. So one of them is here. I was so fascinated. That's her painting. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. There she is. John's painted her a few times. Right there. Okay, pan camera.